In this problem, we've got a fair amount of terminology uh, to use to talk about the arcs and the angles uh, in circles. And uh, let's start by talking about the two types of angles here we have. Uh, the first is this type of angle where the vertex of the angle is at the center of the circle. This is called a central angle. And uh, the thing about a central angle is whatever degree that angle is, it cuts off that many degrees of the arc. So this is 70 degrees of the way around a circle. That's probably easiest to see if you just um, draw a 90 degree angle. It becomes pretty obvious. So if you have a 90 degree angle starting from the center of your circle, so you can see that's a 90 degree angle and it's a fourth of the pi here. So it cuts off a fourth of the way around 360 degrees. So this is going to be 90 degrees of arc. So central angle measures are equal to the measures on the, um, on the arc of the circle that it cuts off. Now, the other type of angle would be one that starts all the way on the other side of the circle. So this angle I just drew cuts off the same degrees of, of arc. It's clearly a smaller measure down here than 90 degrees. And in fact, it's exactly half. This type of angle is called an inscribed angle. And actually, let's see if we can find one in our diagram here. We'll put this in a different color. So if we start at i and go out to g, and then start at i and go out to j, what we have there is an inscribed angle. So it starts at one end of the circle and cuts off an arc at the other end of the circle. There are some special names for arcs as well. Um, when we're going around the outside of a circle here, if we name two points, that'll give us a minor arc. So if we said, I don't know, HI, that would be a minor arc. Then the rest of the circle would be a major arc. We always name major arcs with three points because um, to get all the way around the other direction, uh, you've got to uh, identify that. If we said arc HI and we meant this direction around, cutting off the major arc, well, it would be confusing because you could decide it was this way around. So if we wanted to name this major arc between H and I, we would say HGI or HJI. But the bigger of the two would be the major arc. The smaller of the two would be a minor arc. And then finally, a semicircle is just half of a circle. And you probably knew that already. But the trick is that if you find a diameter, here's a diameter from G to I, what that means is that it cuts the circle exactly in half. So there'll be 180 degrees of arc over here and 180 degrees of arc over here. All right, so let's see if we can answer some of these questions here. A says, give a central angle. And that's what I outlined in green here. That's just what we've been talking about. It's an angle that's formed with the vertex at the center of the circle. So this would be HFG, angle HFG. Okay. B says, give a minor arc. And we could choose any arc here that we wanted to, as long as it was, this, it was the smaller part of the circle, and we name it with two letters. So we could say HI, for example, or HG, or GJ, or IJ. I'm just going to use HI. And when we write an arc, we put the letters, and we put a little arc symbol over it. So there's a minor arc. Then it says, uh, give a semicircle. So that would be an arc. Um, and we could choose this semicircle or the one on top. I'm just going to choose this one. And the semicircle I'm going to give is GJI, just to specify which direction we're going. I'm using three points. And we'll put the arc symbol over it there. All right, D says, find the measure, that little m is measure, of arc GH. So GH is here, and it's got a central angle of 70. So the arc length is 70. So this is 70 degrees. And then it says, find the measure of GJI. And GJI is just exactly the semicircle that I chose. Um, and a semicircle is half of the circle. So we know that's going to be 180 degrees. So that's a little bit of work with uh, measures and central angles and inscribed angles in a circle.